Mrs. Carey, chapter 7, part 3 of chapter 7. But, like I said, the worst part of being at the president's mansion was not seeing Dan. He didn't come, and he didn't come. But then one cold November day, when there was frost on the windows and I could see my breath in the kitchen yard, he came. I was in the kitchen peeling potatoes. It didn't seem, it didn't much seem to matter where I worked. There was always potatoes. In come one of the stable boys and walked over to me. There's somebody out in the barn who wants to see you, Carrie, he said in a low voice so the cooks wouldn't hear. Who is it, I said. A nigger sailor, the stable boy said. He said you'd know. My heart jumped, and I began to glow inside. It had to be Dan. I gave the cook a look. She was busy by the fire and wasn't paying me no attention, so I just skidded out of there without asking no questions. It was Dan, all right, standing in the stable door, just sort of lounging up against the jam. I dashed over to him, and he hugged me, and I hugged him back and didn't want to let go of him neither until he near squeezed the breath out of me. How did you get away, Dan? I slipped off the ship, he said. I've only got a minute. I got something to tell you. You can always come here, I said. It don't matter to President Washington. Carrie, listen to me. I only got a little time. I found out something about you. About me? You remember when Captain Ivers came to the tavern and you hid in the hayloft? Well, he had a sheriff with him and a piece of paper that was supposed to prove that you belonged to him. He clouded me, and then he started shouting to the sheriff to look for you in the barn and such, and didn't pay attention to me. And the way he was holding the paper folded up, I was able to read what was on the outside of it. You could? That excited me some. Well, just the name up in the corner, it was William Samuel Johnson. Dr. Johnson? Your Dr. Johnson? The one who's holding your notes for you? It has to be, he said. It can't be anybody else. That's all you saw? I was kind of disappointed. Well, it's something, he said. I stood there trying to puzzle it out. It don't make any sense to me at all, I said. It's something, he said again. What do you make of it? I don't know exactly, he said, but my daddy, he worked for Dr. Johnson once. He knew Dr. Johnson. He's a big lawyer, and what I figure is my daddy got him to draw up some kind of paper for him about you. Well, what kind of paper? Well, I don't know, but it seems like it's got to be that way. I mean, my daddy brought you to Mr. Francis's tavern. He must have known who you was, and he got Dr. Johnson to draw it up on a piece of paper. Suddenly, I wasn't so disappointed anymore. Why, Dan, you can ask him about it next time you see him. I'm going to, carry soon as I get a chance. I got to go. I only slipped off the ship for just a minute. He turned and started to go. I grabbed his arm. Dan, can you come here any time you want? The president, he don't mind. He nodded. I'll come when I can, soon as I find out something more from Dr. Johnson. Then he left.